Monkeys cannot be trusted. They're bad people. Yes, they seem cute and funny from a distance, but if they had their way, humans would be the ones in zoos. In fact, they on multiple occasions have invaded human settlements. Dozens of people have been attacked by monkeys. <laughs> monkeys! Monkeys! And if you can't trust a monkey, um, who can you trust? Macaque monkeys have long been revered in the city of Lupuri in northern Thailand. Thousands of them live there, and for the most part, the locals are glad to see them, especially as it brings a lot of tourism to the city. But over the last few decades, their population has exploded. Then in 2020, they kind of took control of the city. The little demons flooded the streets, vandalizing buildings and forcing businesses to close. They attacked and robbed humans, and were just a general terror. It got to the point local police made an emergency announcement, admitting they had lost control. They even said there was no hope to retake the city. Normally people look to police for reassurance, and in a crisis, part of their job is to bring about a sense of calm. So for them to just come out and admit that angry monkeys have taken over, well, I respect it. It's a bold move. Apparently, a lot of people felt differently, and many businesses fled. But for the way I see it, if you're scared of a few monkeys, maybe you shouldn't open up shop in a city famous for them. Although, to be fair, they were getting out of hand. Before long, gang wars broke out between the various groups of monkeys across the city. So however you slice it, that's a bad situation. Adding to the problem, the culture in Labori is strongly against killing monkeys. Culling them isn't really possible. So still today, much of the city is overrun. Millions have been lost and foreign investors are furious. Cars are regularly damaged, and large abandoned buildings taken over by monkeys. More recently, authorities came up with a plan to send a lot of the monkeys to jail. Apparently, they want to build large secure enclosures far outside of the city, so that none taken there may return. They would then round up 2,500 of the monkeys and relocate them. Officials already tried neutering more than that amount of male monkeys, but still their population grew. There's really no easy solution, but after years of chaos, human residents want something done. So yeah, monkey jail is a real thing. If this was the only time in recent memory that monkeys had run humans out of town, that would be bad enough. But it's not. Two years ago, monkeys invaded a city in Japan. This time, it was the city of Yamaguchi. But the monkeys in question were also macaques. In just two weeks, 58 people were attacked by them. And with monkeys being evil, they targeted children and the elderly. This species of macaque are also known as snow monkeys, because they often live in colder climates. Over thousands of years, they have adapted to the cold, growing larger than typical macaques. That was bad news for the people of Yamaguchi, who in 2022 came under attack. As if creatures from a horror movie, they roamed the streets, peering into people's windows like vampires waiting to be invited in. Accidentally leave the door open and you might regret it. But Japanese police don't mess around, and before long they were euthanizing monkeys. Apparently, they targeted leaders of the pack, like how police take down real-life human gangs. They also made use of tranquilizer guns, because apparently the monkeys were too clever to be caught in traps. And that's the problem. These things are too intelligent. It wasn't always a problem. There was a time when snow monkeys were an endangered species. But over the last few decades, their numbers have rebounded. So I expect more Japanese cities will come under attack. And it's not just gangs of monkeys you need to worry about. Sometimes just a single one goes rogue. One of such monkeys came to be known as Chico, when it terrorized a neighborhood in Brazil. And when I say terrorized, I don't mean he was stealing food. I mean he ran around with a knife, which to a monkey is like a broadsword. Luckily, nobody actually got stabbed, but at one point he was seen sharpening it. The whole neighborhood was horrified, some residents afraid to even leave their home. But a group of them was somehow able to outwit the creature, trapping him in a cage. Wildlife authorities then relocated Chico far away in the jungle. The point I'm making is this. I don't like monkeys, I don't trust monkeys, and I don't think you should either. 
The laws of probability and chance indicate that if an infinite number of monkeys are given typewriters and allowed to peck away for an infinite time, they will eventually produce all the world's great literature. But in the process, we find monkeys, like humans, also turn out quite a bit of absolute junk.